Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeper with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. The bees aren't super happy today, so I don't know if the camera will be a little unstable over there, but it's all right. Um, we'll go ahead and just kind of get into the hives. We're going to be feeding today. We're doing pollen patties and also the buckets, and we haven't put the holes in the lid yet, so we're putting a box on top, which we'll get to in a second. But we just went through all of these colonies a couple days ago, checking them out and seeing how they look, and so this one right here says three frames of brood and I know that one over there on that on the same pallet here is five frames of brood so we're not going to be really checking them today we're just going to take the box off put the pollen patty on and then put the bucket on because we just checked them uh let's see I'm going to put this down and then most of the time I have somebody helping me to where we can just one person lift the box up and then put the pollen patty under so I'm just going to take it off and put it over here on the inner cover so I don't even have to open the lid or anything. So we'll just give them some smoke and lift this off. That's not very heavy really at all actually. Uh, it looks like they still have the pollen patty here a little bit but I'm still just gonna go ahead and put it back on or a new one on these are our pollen patties that we we made and these are the ultra bee from man lake and so I just kind of put some holes in there and then lay it on top I'm not very good about smoking them really good so that there's no bees there kind of just put it on top of the bees and hope that they can get out which isn't <laughs> good but it's all right we'll, we'll go ahead and put it on and then put a couple of holes here bees are so happy um <clears throat> and then just put the box back on top so it's pretty easy I didn't put any gloves on today because I don't like wearing gloves but probably should have And then we'll just go ahead and take the lid off and put the bucket on. So let's take, they have a feeder shim on because they did have a Ziploc. See if I can get these separated. <clears throat> they had a Ziploc on that we went ahead and took off, which they, it was, a, I think it was a gallon Ziploc. No one got me straight in the leg right there. All right, we gotta come back, put gloves on, even though I don't like them. We had a couple of fun stings that happened in a matter of like a couple seconds, but that's okay. So this is the one thing about the Guardian that I'm not sure I like a whole lot. This situation, <laughs> it's not my favorite, kind of feels like a there's a bee there and then I get all freaked out that I have a bee in my suit. So that's kind of one of the things I'm not super big fan of about the Guardians. But I did have somebody ask me in my last video if the view here was pretty clear. And it is. It's pretty good. I guess I really haven't paid attention to that. So I guess it's not bad then because I can, I'm not really worried about it. But anyways, back to the video. So the patties, the homemade patties that we made were from Man Lake, the Ultra Bee. <clears throat> but we are doing a little bit of an experiment today to test out another pollen patty to see how the bees do with it. But let's go ahead and get these girls closed up. When we're not doing a video, it's really just get the job done really quickly. But um, it kind of slows us down a little bit when we have to do the video, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is put the inner cover on here. We made sure to scrape these off right here so it wasn't too bumpy. I mean, you can see all of the bird comb that was originally there that the bees drew out. The little knob here is, we're going to have that pointing upwards. And then put this on a gallon bucket here <clears throat> with the, we don't have the lids that have the hole in it. And so we're just using the inner cover right now and putting the box on. I think I might have already mentioned that. But I was just saying it again, and we're working on that. We still have to put that in, and then we're going to do some more wax dipping. But basically, we're just going to tip it over. If you can come close, you won't be able to really see it, but there are holes in this 
part of the lid here. We don't take off the lid itself. We just take this part out. We rinse these out because we use them, but let's go ahead and put it on. The reason why we're doing the buckets instead of the Ziplocs, because it won't be here for a little while. And these are full to the top. So <clears throat> they, the Ziploc that was in here, they took it really well and pretty fast. We were just here a couple days ago. But let's go ahead, I need to just put this on. We're gonna focus this right on that hole right there. Hopefully that's on, I think it is. And then just these boxes here. Unfortunately, these are not wax dipped. We didn't have any boxes that were empty and we didn't wanna take all the frames out of our wax dipped ones. Cause then that's just a lot more work for later. So we're just using these not wax dipped ones and it's not supposed to rain for a little while hopefully we just had so much rain so hopefully we won't we won't get any for these boxes but then we'll just put the lid right back on <clears throat> and we might do an updated video later I'm not sure when we'll be able to get back into this yard just to see how they're doing with that now we'll head on over here so we have these patties here these are the Hive Alive patties, and what we're going to do is put these on, and we're going to kind of experiment to see how the hives do and which one does better. So I'm talking really fast here. I'm kind of losing my breath, but this one is five frames, and so is this one. So what we did is we're going to put the Hive Alive on this one and this one, and they're the same strength for the most part, and so we'll see which one does better, and we'll have an updated video for that for sure. Same thing with these ones, three frames, three frames. So anyways, just wanted to mention that. But that's why we also check them in advance to see how they were. I don't think we were originally planning on doing this, but I think it'll be a good video to test out and I'm curious to see how it works also. Hopefully these girls aren't as mad, but there's some holes here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side also because there's nothing there and we normally do some slits on both sides. So let's go ahead, let me just put this, I'm gonna put this down. I could probably just set it on that box, but we're gonna just do it this way. So we're just doing the same thing here and setting the box down. Hopefully these ones won't be as mad as the other ones, but we'll see. I don't try to pop things like that, it just happens, and so that never helps with the situation. It's okay. <clears throat> Already seem like they're not super happy, but you know, beekeeping's not always super fun. We don't really have I know a couple of hives that I can think of that are really mean and we will definitely be requeening this year but for the most part they're super nice or just not nice right now because we're still coming out of we just came out of winter and we're like pretty much all the way out of winter but last night it did freeze so I thought we were officially out of the woods but not quite. But I think now we're pretty much out of the woods. So we're going to put this on. And like I mentioned earlier, these ones have a patty on them already. It's the same one that we put on these ones, I think, from the Ultra Bee from Man Lake. So yeah, now let's put this box back on top. And this one is definitely a little bit heavier. All right, and then we'll put the bucket on top. And that looks like there was some hay or something in the feeder frame here, the frame feeder. 
so that they wouldn't drown as much. That's what came out of there, if maybe you're wondering at all. And put this on. I don't think this one has that little spot right there, so we'll just put this on and then <coughs> the bucket. Here's the box. The wind's kind of starting to pick up a little bit. We just had a ton of wind the last like couple days. It's a little bit more windy out here, or I don't know if it's just now starting to really get bad. We don't put the inner cover back on. We just go ahead and put this lid on. With these lids, you don't need an inner cover anyways. All right, there we go. So we're going to finish these two, but <clears throat> I really want to mention this, and we got these at the Hives for Heroes conference from John at John, or Hillco. You should definitely go check out their stuff. They have a lot of really cool products, and he's a really nice guy. He has helped us out a lot here and given us a lot of cool opportunities to give good videos out like this, and so we really appreciate him. We'll leave the link right here, a couple of different links for... Uh, I know they have a YouTube channel and where you can check out their website and all that stuff or whatever. So definitely go check them out for sure. I know we've mentioned them before in a couple past videos. But he's not too bad himself, so we're mentioning him again. But anyways, that's pretty much what I wanted to mention about this. I just said mention a bunch of times. Um, Alright, so we'll come back here in, I don't know how many days, whenever we decide to come back and whenever the weather gets better. I know it, yesterday was, it was okay. I'm not sure how this week's supposed to look, but I think it'll be okay, maybe. And like I said, we're not really supposed to get too much rain, I don't think. Hopefully no rain at all. But that's what we're doing. I'm really excited to see how these work out and to see if which one does better. And then we'll make sure to definitely tell you and our honest opinion about them so that you can hopefully have some su success with it. And I think that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures. I'll be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.